Introduction to the assignment. This paper will introduce the following topics, theories, or theory, theorists, theoretical tenets, techniques, application, criticism, and personal reflection. I have chosen the, the theoretical orientation of Aaron Beck's work in cognitive therapy for my paper. In this paper, I will further discuss how Aaron, Be Aaron T. Beck and Judith S. Beck's work has provided the foundation for cognitive therapy as it is known today. Finally, I will provide insight into how I might introduce cognitive therapy into my final into my professional practice or explain why I would not apply cognitive therapy within my theoretical approaches. Introduction to theory. Cognitive theory has adapted into practices around the world as cognitive therapy is easily applicable to various groups of individuals. Cognitive therapy approaches are developed for many disorders, including depression, panic disorder, social anxiety, phobia, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, and other psychotic disorders, hypochondriacs, body dysmorphia disorders, eating disorders, insomnia, anger issues, stress, chronic pain, and fatigue, and stress due to general medical problems such as cancer according to Corey, 17, page 281. Cognitive theory was initially identified as an agent of change for depression. Today, cognitive therapy is used, as a uh, used by professionals as a tool within their professional theoretical approaches. Furthermore, cognitive therapy professionally, pro professionally recognizes the impact negative cognitive triad which comprises of, quote, negative views of the self or self-criticism, the world or pessimism, and the future or hopelessness. Corey, 2017, page 282. Finally, cognitive therapy is a professional setting, in the professional setting where clients are encouraged to participate in assigned homework tasks act, actively and to identify when triggered situation, triggering situations, thoughts, activity, actively, and feelings occurred, occur, enabling the client to access tool, their toolkits they have carried over or worked on in session. Cognitive therapy was created by Aaron T. Beck, who worked on establishing his theory between the years of, quote, 1963 to 1967, and then Corey, 2017 to 81. Aaron Beck set out to find ev evidence-based therapy for individuals suffering from depression. The following sentences will, I will further, and I will further detail the Beck family's contributions to modern cognitive therapy. Along with inter introducing common strategies that assist with identifiable distortions and disorders in clients, the strategies in cognitive therapy assist professional counselors in providing evidence-based approaches for, prof for professionals, for clients. Theorists. Previously, I've detailed the history of cognitive therapy and provided brief oversight of the prominent theorists and how the, how the theory was cultivated. As m mentioned previously, the cognitive therapy was founded by Aaron T. Beck, who further adapted, who, who, and father, and father developed by, further developed by Judith S. Beck. Aaron Beck was initially interested in neurology, but after, div but later diverted his contributions to psychology after completing his residency in the psychiatric unit. Similarly, Judith S. Beck initially worked with children with special education career field, helping break down complex information into smaller, less complicated ideas for children with learning disabilities. Although Judith Beck was not motivated by her trauma like her father, however, Judith Beck was a child of two distinctly brilliant individuals in their own right as her father, Aaron Beck, is the father of cognitive therapy and her mother, 
and quote her mother is the first female judge of the appellate court of the commonwealth of pennsylvania corey 2017 page 280 the beck family both worked within their nonprofit beck institute for cognitive therapy and judith s beck currently resides as the president today historically cognitive therapy has been used in addition instrument in professional counselors practices as it offers effective treatment methods for clients issues including phobias and cognitive disorders um, Beck and washer agreed both agreed that both um, cognitive and behavioral techniques could be used throughout professional practices using cognitive therapy over the past 50 years, Aaron Beck's research has supplied cognitive therapy with models that, quote, all CT applica applications from depression and anxiety treatment and ther to treatments to therapies for a wide variety of other problems, including psychosis and substance abuse, Corey 2017, page 282. To provide the best treatment for clients with depression and anxiety, Aaron Beck's Aaron Beck asked what asked that other scholars conduct their own research testing to prove further that his work supplies the best for clients. Um, theoretical tenets of theory. In the previous section, I discussed the theories that model the cognitive therapy framework. The theorists that model the cognitive therapy framework. Next, I will discuss the theoretical tenets of theory within cognitive therapy. The basic principle of cognitive of quote cognitive therapy or CT provides cognitive psychological problems as in in ex exaggeration of adaptive responses resulting from commonplace cognitive distortions. Corey 2017 page 284. Cognitive therapists believe that meaningful change <clears throat> can be established for clients when their clients actively choose to take part in sessions. Clients who collaborate with their counselors and their chosen therapy play an active role in their change. Active sessions pr participation is equally essential for, counts for professional counselors as it is for clients. The continued development of skills and tools further <clears throat> evaluates both parties, further elevates both parties' psychoeducational understanding of resolving issues in sessions. Professional counselors who practice cognitive therapy as their theoretical orientation within their professional setting further use insight focused therapy strategies that engage the clients in critical thinking as part of their clients' homework. Professional counselors use assigned homework in sessions to empower clients to take what they have learned in their session and apply it within their own lives outside of the professional setting. Additionally, professional counselors use cognitive therapy to utilize it. Additionally, professional counselors using cognitive therapy utilize goal setting as, quote, a symptom relief, assigning clients and assign, assess, assisting clients in resolving their most presenting problems, <clears throat> uh, changing beliefs and behaviors that maintain problems, and teaching clients skills that serve as relapse prevention strategies, Corey 2017 to page 285. According to Corey, who states, clients that approach therapy with the mindset of developing lifelong skills and consequent and consciously want to change as mentioned previously experience better counseling outcomes uh when using cognitive therapy page 287 in contrast individuals who do not use strategies developed within cognitive therapy have a higher rates of relapse as other theories do not create are not created with the skills to combat their thoughts feelings stemming from the negative relationship between their thoughts, actions, and behaviors. Techni techniques of theory. Professional counselors pr 
provide their clients with skills needed to face their psychological disorders, enabling them to begin their recovery by equipping them to recognize unrealistic concepts and ideas about themselves, the world, and their future. Cognitive therapy focuses on <clears throat> present problems as clients struggle to hinder their struggles hinder their ability to support a healthy relationship with reality. Cognitive therapy stresses that clients should reflect and conceptualize their outcomes as the professional counselor joins alongside their clients as they process the client's journey to recovery. Quote, Beck and Wesher describe both cognitive and behavioral methods are part are, that are part of the overall strategies used in cognitive therapy, Corey, 2017, page 287. Methods used in cognitive therapy to explore the, and challenge the client's belief systems. Further explorations are needed to identify what beliefs lack merit and what and why the client continues to allow the intrusive belief system to impact their lives negatively. As cognitive therapy focuses on the client's involvement in the client therapy client therapist relationship, cognitive therapy also prioritizes and strength based cognitive behavioral therapy strategies with clients. Additionally, cognitive therapy seeks to maintain the client's first mentality by prioritizing the client's complete understanding and knowledge of from start to finish. Unlike other theoretical orientations, cognitive therapy does not seek to minimize the client's diagnosis. Cognitive therapy uses the client's diagnosis as a facet of change whereby a client can identify trends stemming from the world from the views and beliefs maintained due to the client's diagnosis. Overall, cognitive therapy is a distinctly fluid is distinctly fluid between the client and counselor relationship. Application of theory when detailing what population would most benefit from cognitive therapy, it includes those who suffer from the effects of depression and anxiety primarily, while also offering approaches for other disorders, including, quote, panic disorders, phobias, post-traumatic stress disorders, schizophrenia, and other psychotic disorders, hypochondriacs, body dysmorphia disorder, dysmorphic disorders, eating disorders, insomnia, anger issues, stress, chronic pain, and fatigue, and stress due to, to general medical problems, Corey 17281. As cognitive therapy can adapt to a diverse array of diagnoses, the theory is not the theory is not only flexible throughout cognitive diagnosis, but also flexible as to the client's age. Furthermore, strength based cognitive behavioral therapies encourage the client to describe the experiences um using imagery and metaphors to capture and interrogate the client's emotional, cognitive, psychological, and behavioral aspects in their experiences. Corey, 2017-91. As cognitive therapy is adaptable for clients, they can use imagery and metaphors in sessions. Imagery and metaphors can provide children, adolescents, and people with disabilities who may struggle to connect easily construct easily understandable word wording um and adult populations with the pra with a practical and effortless way of conveying their express experiences more smoothly to the professional counselor with children and adolescents ct is more is more effective than treating depression and anxiety disorders with than medication cognitive therapy programs have been designed for all ages and various client populations, Corey 2017-87. Cognitive therapy has no particular emphasis on setting of therapy. However, all settings would benefit from applying techniques found within cognitive therapy. Adversely, cognitive therapy limits the success as the therapy depends upon the client's willingness to play an active role in their treatment process. Cognitive therapy is not the best is not best used for clients who are not serious about developing skills and techniques that the theory emphasizes. Um, the demographic that will not reap the benefits of cognitive therapy include those mandated by the court systems or clients who do not identify that they that a change is needed. Criticism of theory. 
As mentioned previously, clients need to commit themselves to the therapeutic process when addressing the negatives or drawbacks of cognitive therapy. Cognitive therapy has been limited in its successes as a theory as it depends upon the client's willingness to play an active role in the treatment process. Cognitive therapy is not best used when clients are not serious about developing skills and techniques that the theory emphasizes. The demographic that will not reap the benefits of cognitive therapy includes those who are mandated by the court system, clients who are not willing, and those who may not have the skills to identify um, identify that a change is needed. Likewise, suppose a client suppose a client needs more interest in developing a client therapist relationship, the foundation of the session may be impacted as um, strength-based cognitive therapy techniques are our encouraged allies of the client and need to be genuine, caring, and willing to engage with the client in a full human being in both struggles and successes, Corey, 2017, page 291. Additionally, professional counselors the professional counselor is not identified as an expert when using cognitive therapy techniques in sessions. The professional counselor comparatively is a, to a certain degree serves as an assistant that offers resources to clients uh, excuse me, um, as they discover their path in their healing process. Equally as, crit- as crucial to identifying individuals who may not benefit from cognitive therapy or strength-based cognitive behavioral therapy can include those who lack the cognitive ability to understand the use of Socratic questioning. Professional counselors using strength-based cognitive therapy within sessions must be aware of the cog- the level of cognitive functioning that can be limited f- limit that can be a limitation for clients when using cognitive therapy in any capacity. Similarly, individuals with severe depression with an additional psychosis diagnosis and individuals considering suicide will find the tools used in strength-based cognitive therapy challenging to comprehend and translate into their daily functions without the use of medication. In contrast, those suffering from suicidal ideation and severe depression with psych- and psychosis may find strength-based cognitive therapy helpful in u- when used in conjunction with other therapeutic techniques In addition of in, and the addition of medication. Consequently, cognitive therapy and strength-based cognitive therapy are not the best used for all best used of theory for all clients. However, cognitive therapy can benefit nearly all clients if used in conjunction with other aids and theories. Personal reflection. Cognitive therapy piqued my interest after learning that all that nearly all clients effective effect effective we use nearly all clients effectively use cognitive techniques in sessions. I enjoy gaining a deeper understanding of the tools and techniques that a counselor a counselor using cognitive therapy can try with clients. I also I have identified that positive outcomes can form either by adaptation of cognitive therapy as a primary primary theoretical orientation or a professional counselor using cognitive techniques as a tool within their theoretical orientation. All professional counselors can assist their clients in reaping the benefits of cognitive therapy when they correctly understand up-to-date techniques and procedures. Moreover, I fell in love with the idea of making the counselors ex- the counseling experience for clients one in which they feel empowered to make an active change in their own lives by viewing the counselor as an assistant rather than a dictator within the clinical setting. My professional belief is that clients cannot truly create change within their own lives until they total, until a total commitment has been established to addressing both the positive and negatives in their lives. My best understanding after exploring cognitive therapy within this paper shares within this paper shares the drive to understand the client's issues do not create insurpassable barriers. Therefore, unless a client genuinely is unwilling or unable to envision their lives beyond their current circumstances, currently for those reasons, 
I have previously mentioned throughout this paper, I have no hesitation in applying cognitive therapy in sessions with all clients, cult clients cultures, or diagnoses presenting unless the client is experiencing severe depression or suffers from current suicidal ideation. Furthermore, I would like to, to offer cognitive therapy as my primary theoretical approach within an outpatient setting. Cognitive therapy or cognitive theory benef benefits from the client's strong involvement, but is best suited for clients who do not need intensive therapy. In conclusion, cognitive therapy has positively influenced the client's revised, can positively influence a client's revised worldview as the client and counselor work together to develop and fine tune skills that will build resilience to obstacles the client faces.